I have uh, done my physics honors graduation from Delhi University. I completed it in 1996. And uh, after that, I was doing my MBA. And 1997, I got selected in Indian Air Force. I joined training and I got commissioned in 1998, June. So Top Gun is the name of the institute where the best of the fighter pilots, they come for training. So I was a senior instructor there and uh, I have been to Sri Lanka for two years to participate in some operations. And before hanging my uniform, uh, I got a chance to lead my unit during Op Sindhur also. So then in 2021, I was posted in headquarters at Delhi. My son got admission in BTEC Computer Science and in Machine Learning and Artificial Intelligence. And that was the time when this degree was introduced. So I really, it was so exciting for me and I just straight away, I joined this degree. And the experience has been really amazing. I can share with you. Hello everyone. Today we have with us Lalit Chaudhary sir. He has been in Air Force and he has served in the mission Sindhur also. We have such a magnanimous and awesome personality with us right now. He has done this BS degree in data science and programming. And today here he is with all of us to share his story. So Lalit sir, welcome here. Hi everyone. Thanks a lot first of all for inviting me and uh, you know for such mm -hmm. kind words. I have uh, done my physics honors graduation from Delhi University. I completed it in 1996. And uh, after that, I was doing my MBA. And 1997, I got selected in Indian Air Force. I joined training and I got commissioned in 1998, June. Uh, so I joined my unit in 99, January. Somewhere in May, first week, Kargil started. So I was uh, very fortunate that I participated in Kargil War. I led uh, my team at the border for almost nine months. Thereafter, I have served at different, different units and uh, I have commanded three units in my career. And uh, I have been a senior instructor on Tagby. Tagby is akin to Top Gun, uh, if you have seen the movie Top Gun. So Top Gun is the name of the institute where the best of the fighter pilots, they come for training. So I was a senior instructor there and uh, I have been to Sri Lanka for two years to participate in some operations. And before hanging my uniform, uh, I got a chance to lead my unit during Op Sindhur also. So I hang my uniform on 31st of May. So that's a brief introduction of mine. Wonderful, sir. That's such an amazing and inspiring story. And I'm so grateful that I'm here talking with you. It's been really generous. So, sir, uh, can you please tell us that how do you get to know about this BS degree in data science and programming? And why did you, you know, I mean, what motivated you to pursue this? Yeah, so somewhere in 2017, I was uh, in Pune, I was commanding a unit and, you know, I started hearing all these buzzwords, data science, machine learning and all that. So out of curiosity, I wanted to know. So I myself, I started exploring that, uh, you know, how to learn all about this. So I came to know that, you know, to try your hands on machine learning or data science, Python is a basic requirement. So I learned Python from online resources. There are many resources which are available. And then I joined one institute in Pune, a one and a half month course on basic machine learning. And I learned about machine learning and really, you know, it inspired me, you know, about that, that how you can, you know, got valuable insights and you know it was wonderful experience so then in 2021 i was posted in headquarters at delhi my son got admission in btec computer science and in machine learning and artificial intelligence and that was the time when this degree was introduced so i really it was so exciting for me and i just straight away i joined this degree and the experience has been really amazing i can share with you okay. Yes, I would love to listen. Yeah, so I will uh, tell you the strengths of this program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first of all, this program is from the best, like in India. Mm -hmm. Like I used to check yes. the syllabus of my son and uh, later on he himself he used to tell me, well, dad, 
बोला योर सिलेबस इज यू नो कर सेकेंड वॉज दैट दैट दो दिस डिग्री इनिशियली आई थॉट इट वुड बी इन ऑनलाइन डिग्री but by realizing the hybrid mode and you know rigor which you have to put in every week you have to do assignments every month mm-hmm. you have to appear in that exam and uh, there are mandatory conditions that you fulfill then all then only you are allowed to appear in the final exam so the rigor or the effort which is required i will say you know it matches any online degree third is that that i made so many good friends during this journey you know we have been standing by each other side whenever somebody is low so maybe you know we may not be knowing each other physically we are not doing the course together but uh, by interacting with each other through various forums like discords g space whatsapp groups so i have never felt that you know we are far away any time you require any help in any topic you know there is somebody you just post it like somewhere and suddenly somebody will come like an angel solving your problem ah yes and yes yeah third about my instructors instructors you know they are fantastic like i learned deep learning from professor mitesh kapra and he's the head of ai for bharat you know who can be the who can be a better person to teach you uh, deep learning or the large language models so these are unique strengths of this program so sir while preparing uh, uh, who was your favorite instructor and what was your favorite subject so while studying okay. <laughs> yeah so i tell you honestly so when i started with the foundation so it was going back to basics so i left my college somewhere in 1996 so uh, i did my diplomas but due to during diplomas there were some contingencies in northern india all that galwan and all that and uh, i was primarily re- responsible and involved in those operations so i couldn't devote so much of time in the diploma topics but when i came to degree i'm telling you so you asked me the favorite subject my favorite subject till now has been you know deep learning large language models deep learning hmm. practice and yeah, with the, all the topics related to that and uh, though all the instructors have been fantastic but i have got my personal liking uh, towards professor kapra so Sorry to other instructors, but uh, like them too. Mm-hmm. But this has been been my favorite. Wonderful, so wonderful knowing you. And uh, also, uh, what do you think that uh, it was the most hardest part? Like, uh, be it managing assignments or deadlines, and uh, how was your schedule like? How did you manage all of it? Okay, okay. During the degree, now I have completed BS and. presently i'm pursuing amtap so during this journey like i mentioned earlier during the diploma i was you know heavily involved in the operations of indian air force so during around around almost 6 months that was the hardest part because in our offices you know we are not allowed even mobiles so i could yeah. so i used to come back used to refer the material in the night so that was the hardest however you know the uh, courses like that that if you even devote 2 hours per day you can easily learn and uh, this during this program my entire life is still changing you know i in, first of all i was not heavily into the mobiles and all that but mm-hmm. this course taught me the value of time that if you have got some time devote towards learning so but after diploma the degree level you know was very very smooth um i really enjoy and uh, i will tell other students you know mm-hmm. manage your time time and energy energy can be transformed from one form to another but time is one thing which mm-hmm. never comes back the second which has gone oh. it will never come back so that very wonderful saying and uh, what else advice would you like to give to other students upcoming students or maybe someone who can take as bold decision as you as yeah. different okay so i'll tell all the students first of all don't consider this degree as an online degree okay be serious about this degree and uh, you know prepare your notes like you would have done in your any you know offline college that you go to college prepare your notes study every day uh brush up your concepts and uh, learn the skills okay and this course gives you 
and of you know forums to get your doubts clarified every week there is a live session there is a discourse like i mentioned earlier g space is there then the whatsapp groups are there mm-hmm. uh, material is fantastic and during this journey apart from learning you know theories and all that please build those networks build those friendships build those relationships because these will be the ones which will carry you throughout your life you will always remember because all of you you sailed or you traversed this part together so build like those networks also on so sir you must have spent a, a quite a number of weekends studying in this degree yeah so how was the experience i mean you know, saturday sundays were also were also involved in the studying only yeah so you it was like, like that yeah. yeah so i'm very very thankful to my family first okay so they understood that i was doing this course so my saturdays and sundays uh, apart from normal work so i used to study maybe around 3 to 4 hours to brush up on the concepts of all the entire week then doing your assignments and mm. uh, when i entered degree level that is the time when i started collaborating with other other students so we started you know discussing with each other the concepts and then i made videos of that and then that idea came to me that why don't i you know put okay all these videos on youtube so that other students they can get help from that so yes. from that my youtube channel started and you know i hear so many compliments from the students that you know sir your videos they help us so okay. it it is just started as a discussion between all of us so i tell you honestly if you can devote 2 hours per day 2 to 3 hours per day and during your exam times maybe more like any other degree you can easily sail through and you can easily you know do quite good in this course you can have good cgpas you can understand concepts uh, another thing which i forgot earlier that uh, the strength of this course is like that that with every course you have got projects which have got you know okay. real world mm-hmm. applications whether you are doing mad one you are doing mad two bdm project or you are doing llm project so you are learning or the dlp so you are getting hands on real experience you know in applying those concepts which you are learning theoretically so that's another unique strength of this course see sir have you ever uh, come to the campus before your uh, convocation did you attend paradox i was there experience <laughs> Yeah. so i came during paradox and you know they i stayed for five days and uh, honestly they were one of my best days of my life you know the kind of energy which i felt the kind of you know that positivity energy enthusiasm everywhere i went you know i felt i was surrounded you know by that vibrant energy and really i felt that you know i am in a temple and that energy is passing through me anywhere i went you know the students they were talking about innovations everything you know it was amazing so i can say the best days of my life i really enjoyed them wonderful that amazing and uh, also uh, did you like during traveling uh, was there a time that you had to travel and you had an exam center somewhere far away was there an issue like that exam centers was near by you only okay so um, i have seen exam centers like in delhi and pune mm. so in delhi i saw some five exam centers so okay. i had to travel one exam center was close to my place where i was residing okay. other exam centers maybe one and half hour two hours away but i used to start well in time you know i used to plan my that that if exam is starting for, for example at 9 o'clock i should reach there at least by 8 o'clock so that you become comfortable you don't have that anxiety so i want to tell yeah. this thing also to the students you know if you reach the exam center at the last time you will have anxiety and it, your performance will suffer mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that was the time and then when i came to pune pune has got only one exam center which is around one hour away from my home so i always make a point that i reach the exam center by 8 o'clock i'm cool after that i have got one hour and when i you know start giving the exam all the clutter is away from my mind so that's mm-hmm. my experience 
that is a very nice thing to say because many of the students rush through it and then they end up screwing their exams okay it has been so nice so sir um, okay no I won't take much of your time but uh, any last advice you would like to give to all of the students okay so agreement thanks a lot first of all for giving me this opportunity and uh, i would like to share only one thing you know take advantage of this course it is it's one of the best course presently available in india the kind of skills which you can gain these are the skills which are required in the industry so be serious don't consider that it is just a degree and just by the tag of iit madras you will get a job even the stanford students or the harvard students they don't get a job just by the tag okay so get those skills the entire ocean is available to you how far you want to swim it depends on you everything is available to you so take it seriously grab those opportunities and i'm telling you you will do very well and like i mentioned earlier build networks build relationships build your friendships like you would have done in any other college so that will be my last message to everyone okay thank you thank you so much sir your story shows us how much dedication commitment and uh, you know hard work can take you as from reaching heights to both of your career and here in this degree as well i'm so pleased to have you thank you so much for uh, taking out time and having this conversation with all of us thank you agriman thank you so much and i wish you all the very very best please do well thank you sir thank you yeah bye bye okay bye